Republican conference chair, the gentleman of incredible principled character, Mike Pence from Indiana. Oh, yeah. 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 It's an honor to stand with my colleagues, all of the Republican leaders, with Tom Price, Michelle Bachman, and let me say with conviction, the American people are always welcome at the People's House. these historic steps, President Ronald Reagan said, we are a nation that has a government, not the other way around. Now comes the Pelosi plan for a government takeover of health care. Spending, bloated bureaucracy, mandates, and higher taxes, and it must be opposed. House Republicans are here to deliver a simple message to Speaker Nancy Pelosi and to the American people. Madam Speaker, we the people are tired of runaway federal spending in Washington, D.C. And we the people want health care reform that lowers the cost of health insurance, not grows the size of government. And to our fellow citizens, I say, those gathered and those looking on, if you cherish freedom, if you fear the crushing weight of big government, and if you still believe that the strength of this nation is in the character and the courage and the ingenuity of the American people, this is your moment. Now is the time. come out of these steps and see the magnitude of people out here coming to Washington to make your voice heard. Yeah! And a special shout out to all those freedom-loving Americans from my home state of New Jersey where they just made their voice heard. Yeah! 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 Well, we have a doctor standing up next to us. You know, when one of the first things that they teach you, I assume, in medical school is a Hippocratic Oath, which teaches you, first, do no harm. Well, let's apply this test then to Speaker Pelosi's health care bill. Yeah. Now, you tell me now, do you want the government to harm the economy by raising taxes on small businesses by $470 billion as you this bill? Well, do you want the government to harm patients by raising taxes on wheelchairs, on insulin pumps, by artificial hips, on pacemakers? to harm our country by putting the bureaucrat between you and the doctor? No! Well, neither do I, and neither do any of the people that stand here behind us. Well, the, well, this is a fundamental test that we must apply on the Pelosi health care plan. It must first do no harm, and her bill does much harm. Yes! So I'm pleased and honored that you come here today to join us all to fight for freedom. Now let's see this bill be defeated. Thank you. Yes! today uh, to make your voices heard and to exercise your constitutional right to petition your government. Your voice is needed today. Frankly, your voice is critical today. You know, in August, Americans across this nation uh, showed up in town hall meetings all across their country with their members of Congress. They showed up right here by the hundreds of thousands on September the 12th. Yeah. They all came to say enough of mortgaging our children's future. Yes. They said 
enough for spending money that we don't have. Yeah. Yeah. They said enough for the regulation, enough for the bailouts. But most of all, they said enough of the insanity from Washington, D.C., and from politicians who aren't listening to their constituents. Yeah. The town hall rebellion wasn't about one political party or another. It was a simple statement by Americans that they love their country. Yeah. They love our way of life. Right. They love the things that America stands for, prosperity, liberty, and freedom. Yeah. Yeah. And they want nothing more to hand freedom off to their kids and to their grandkids. Yeah. This weekend, the House of Representatives is likely to vote on Pelosi Care. Oh. freedom that I have seen in the 19 years I've been here in Washington. Yeah. Yeah. Taking away your freedom to choose your doctor. The freedom, the freedom to buy health insurance on your own. It's going to lead to a government takeover of our health care system with tens of thousands of new bureaucrats right down the street making these decisions for you. Yeah. I don't know what the outcome of that vote is going to be. But I can tell you what, I am voting no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to stand with you and all freedom-loving Americans against this bill. This is my copy. This is my copy of the Constitution. And I'm going to stand here with our founding fathers who wrote in the preamble we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Say no to a government takeover of health care. Join us in rejecting higher taxes and more deficits. Yeah. And join us in defeating Pelosi Care. Yeah. The gentleman from Arizona, Mr. John Shattag. Thank you. Thank you for being here. In the course of human history, there is no greater fight than the fight for freedom. You are freedom fighters, and with your help, we cannot fail. Sadly, sadly, tragically, the people that control this government neither understand nor believe in freedom but they will lose because we're going to beat them. This bill, this bill is not a health care bill. That's right. A health care bill would advance patient choice. A health care bill would restore your relationship with your doctor. It would take your employer and your plan out from between you and your doctor and it wouldn't put the government in between. Yeah. But the struggle goes on and on and on. You and I have been handed the torch to fight for freedom. To fight against the socialism that is in this health care bill. To fight against the socialism that is in this cap and trade bill. To fight against the leaders who do not believe in this nation and its great destiny. Stop and think one moment. Stop and reflect. In the course of human history, tyranny has never won. In the course of human history, freedom has always prevailed. Please go home and call every single American you know, engage them in this fight, and with your help, 
Freedom will win.